Well, build my gallows and build them high Makes a long time climbing before I die I want the chance to spit in his eye Well, he gave me balls, but I can see between To a dusty yard and a long gone green They call that freedom, if you know what I mean And I try my sorrow, but the whiskey's gone Hello everybody, welcome to Short Bangers, this is episode 115, I'm Matty, joined tonight by Colin and John. Colin, how's it going? Good, thanks, hot, you? Uh, also hot, uh, not in appearance obviously, just in no, temperature. No, no. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> everybody knows. <laughs> John, you're looking hot. Thanks very much. <laughs> Um, just before we start, I want to say a wee apology to Tony Swanson because we gave the credit to the grand, uh, for the Grand Store interview to a suggestion made by Fats Prickus and it turns out that Tony beat him to the punch by about a minute on Twitter. So sorry, Tony, for giving uh, Alex your, your glory. Um, although Grant did reply to Alex's tweet in the years, but yeah, there you go. We've acknowledged it now and I'm sorry it was my fault that I missed that. Anyway... Uh, we'll get some uh, questions. I think we'll start with some older ones uh, the night, and then we'll jump forward to the newer ones because we've still got a wee bit of backlog to catch up on. Uh, 25 minutes on the clock. First question uh, tonight comes from uh, Stuart, who asks, do the guests know what they're letting themselves in for when they come on the show? Um, there's no guest to answer that. No, the night there's no, but we have had guests and we try to give them a wee bit of heads up, don't we? Well, if there's no already, I mean, if they're short bangers or long bangers, because short bangers obviously they get they get warned or they get tagged sometimes, don't they? To as they see the questions coming in. Aye, when That's we had the uh, when we had Mark Nelson on the other week, he's we got one of the preamble. I think we'd sort of say to him, Dick, if you've ever heard the show, and he says, Well, listen to the LA Barber one. <laughs> right, <laughs> I've only really prepared you for what's about to come. Um, but I uh, sometimes, sometimes the guests, sometimes we get folk that reach out to us and ask if they can come on. So, uh, should we goes, reveal the the secrets of the the pre podcast chat that we have with them, or shall we keep that close to our chest? Keep that to ourselves, Sean. That would mean a closely guarded secret Seems until fair. until at least somebody asks us when we've had a drink in us. Uh, right. Ian uh, asks, can each of the bangers say the following in the style of the Reverend Ian Paisley? Can you show me two tea towels? No, no, I can't. <laughs> John? <laughs> is, no, I don't even know if I'm going to attempt it. Ian Paisley, he's Northern Irish, right? Ah, I like the aggressive Irish accent, yeah. Go on, no, John. I'm not, am I going to attempt what it? What is it? Yeah. What was it? Two can, tea towels? Can you show me two tea towels? It's kind of gruff as well, isn't it? Aye. Is it? Are you trying to say what it would sound like when you say it, Colin, as if it's like a... Aye, I think oh, it's... Are you... the mis... Is it going yeah. to try... Yeah, like, is there words that are going to come out of swearing or something? I don't like swearing. I don't think it... I don't like swearing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show me two tea towels? How was that? Uh, but... Aye. All right. I think you need to take up smoking again, Matty, like, to properly Aye. get the effect. Well, okay, but, I mean, it was decent. You want to give it a bash, Sean? Or try the accent, even? <clears throat> okay. Oh, fuck, this is going to sound fucking terrible. What was it? Can you show me two tea towels? Can you show me two tea, two tea towels? Oh, I'm, going to, I'm just going to sound like a fucking leprechaun. Is it? <laughs> Without <laughs> intending to. <laughs> Can you show me two... No, I can't. <laughs> 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 I already knew. I couldn't. I <laughs> Uh, right, nice for you. I think the answer was no. Uh, anyway, right. Uh, Charlie Mulgrew thinks you've made that up. Uh, says, "Would you rather? What would you rather pull out with pliers? One of your healthy teeth or one of your healthy big toenails?" Oh, That's one of those uh, questions that makes you wince as soon as you think about it. Well, it's going to be a healthy big toenail, eh? Aye. So I've, got aye. One that's a bit, I've got one that's a bit fucked. 
I, um, I can't remember how I did it, but I burst one of my toenails years ago, and when it started to like break off, like it was just a wee bit kind of like stuck in the corner that wasn't for moving, but it was kind of annoying at the same time. So that got hauled out. Yeah, I done it. I done it. I think it was in P six or P seven at school, and I I went to kick the football, and it was like, used to play on the just on concrete yeah. right at the school. And I missed the ball, or I went under the ball, one of the two, and my toe hit the, the ground, and it just went pure black. Yep. And the nail and the nail fell off, but it's grew back in. But it's never, ever been a healthy nail. It's like, it's it's really, like, thick. You know, it's like, it's, it's almost like two nails yep. thickness, compared Aye. to all my other phones, which are fine. And it, like, it almost needs shaved down. And then when I cut it, it just fucking crumbles. Like, it's no a... Uh, it's not like a normal nail. So I'd probably pull that one out, but then it's not healthy, so it breaks the rules of the question. So would you rather pull out your other toenail or a tooth? There's a story about Ernest Hemingway, I'm sure, about him trying to join a tribe. And one of the uh, one of the rituals that this tribe had was to pull out, I can't remember if it was one or both big toenails without like crying, without showing any emotion or whatever, and seemingly done it, but I think he was renowned for being a bit of a pish artist, so I imagine that played a part. Fucking mad I think bastards. I, I would go to 100%. Just the thought of doing it with the... But, uh, I, I've had teeth out before, and it's no pleasant, but... It wasn't healthy, though, or it wouldn't even come in it. No. No, no, I did have to add healthy ones to make room for... Right. Well, you, you, I think if you remember, but before I had my face, ah, mind, I had, like, right. the piggly teeth, so I had to get loads of teeth out to make space, so I've had healthy teeth pulled out by pliers before. What's the mm. deal with teeth as well? Is it they're not attached to your face, are they? they but the dentist has to like break the plug. That that's like the sort of initial twisting. You know, they'll they'll say to you like you're going to feel a bit of pressure. And there's then they a, twist. There's, there's a root, isn't there? That, that kind of is, is embedded in your gum, and that's where they free and and pull out. I, I would hundred even just the, the the thought of pulling a toenail just yeah. Because oh, oh, it's the bulk of that. Are we, are we just getting mafia to it, or are we getting anaesthetic? I take it mafia. Aye, aye, that's aye. it. You know, yeah, you're not getting any pain relief. It's just fucking straight away. Because teeth are a funny thing, yeah. You ever chipped a tooth? Uh-huh. Uh huh. And and you right on the nerve. And even if you just take a breath in, the fucking mm. thing goes. And, you, and they're so fucking small as well. Eh? Aye. You know when you get a tooth and you go, "What's that?" Like, <laughs> the thing, yeah. You just create, or the wisdom teeth. You, you've had problems with your wisdom teeth. Nah. Which is a fucking mental hang, eh, wisdom teeth? Like, you don't need them. Like, you don't need them. That's as simple as that, eh? You, yeah. You, they, they only grow in when you're like 18, 19, 20, something like that. And then they go, if it's because you've been able to pull the cunt out. Like, what, why is it? What would you need? We don't need I, it then. Why, what the fuck did they create that for? I read somewhere that we were going to uh, evolve to not have them. Because mm. they're not necessary. That that would, that, that would happen. I don't care how that works. Like, how the but, future generations know that we're no use and it's not like we need it to survive and those who didn't have them. Yeah. So oh, well, when you say that's we what evolved. Because people, I think how evolution, this is where we fucking get into the, how much of an idiot I really am, right? I think evolution goes, right, so say you need them, right? Say we needed wisdom teeth to survive, right? And we're the gene pool, right? Uh, and John, you've got wisdom teeth and Colin, you've got wisdom teeth, but genetically I've no what would happen is because I couldn't survive because I've not got the wisdom teeth that I need, I couldn't then uh, procreate and uh, my genes wouldn't live on. So the, the, the race would have eventually, if you take it over a wider mass, everybody who never had wisdom teeth that couldn't survive wouldn't have passed their genes on. And eventually over time, only those that had the genes who had wisdom teeth, so everybody who had wisdom teeth would do it. It's like how um, giraffes with wee necks wouldn't have survived. So only the giraffes that had necks long enough to eat the leaves of the trees Made survived and lived to mate again, right? So that's how giraffes ended up with long necks. It probably didn't start off that way. Um, so I don't care how now, yeah. So now, if you don't need the wisdom teeth, if somebody's genetically doesn't have them, they could still get their neck and cold, still have a kid, and then that kid would have no wisdom teeth, and eventually they would kind of become widespread, and, and folk would evolve to not have wisdom teeth. That's interesting. I think that's right. But they're a pointless, they're a pointless thing. Back to my point, which was very interesting. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> but but that ain't like what you don't need the fucking things. No, you like, really but, but you need your teeth. Well, like, oh, oh, you is it because teeth. the wisdom teeth are kind of like stuck behind that wee flap of gum? They just sort of hide Aye, away. And some some folk didn't even grow. They, they just sit there dormant, like they're there, like under the skin. Um, I I got massive pain with the bottom ones years ago. A fucking horrible pain, like for such can like for what it is. And then the operation to get them out was when I was fine, and I was thinking. I really need them out. Like, Kim, are you going to get knocked out to go and get your teeth out and you've got daisy recovery and that, like, uh, nobody will eat properly and all that and uh, uh, sensitive teeth and stuff for I'm not in any pain. But when you do have the pain, you're just like, fuck it, take them out with pliers now. Don't even bother about the <laughs> anaesthetic. Um, but aye, I just didn't get the, the need. But I've just, just when you were talking, I was thinking, I'm sure it was Stephen Gerrard when he was a player. He had a really bad back. Have we spoke about this before on here? He had, think back so. injuries and, had back injuries and that, right? Couldn't he shake it? Tried all the fucking stuff, like all the acupunctures and all the physios and that. And he eventually went to some expert and he went, get the wisdom teeth out. The wisdom teeth out and his back was fine. There was a thing where, a bit closer to home, uh, Colin Cameron had quite a few injuries. And he, I'm sure the story was that after like various treatments and what have you, he ended up getting like, he wore like a wee, almost like a wee retainer or gum shield when he was playing football. Mm. And that, that sorted him out. Like, how the fuck does that work? It's amazing, isn't it? I, I used to get mad uh, migraines until I had the teeth taken out for and straightened. When that, then I, I, I still oh, get them then? every now and again. I'll get I'll get one, but I used to get them regularly, and that, that pretty much stopped it dead. Getting the teeth done, funny, yeah. Mm. No funny, ha ha. Hey, disappointingly for anybody that's listening. <laughs> yeah, but, no. so, well, we move on. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, Charlie also asked, "Who wins in a fight, Sooty or Sweep, and would it be over Sue?" So he's like the wee panda dude, isn't he? I've got my hand up here like I've got a hand puppet. So he was the yellow one. She's the yellow one. Aye. Oh, so he's the yellow one. Sort of yellowy brown. What was the I'm name su- of the show that they were on? Sooty was and it? Sweep. Sooty, 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 sooty show, is it? Aye. I feel like I'm missing a character here. <laughs> I feel so like I answered sooty, that and I probably shouldn't have. Because sooty, it's like, Sweep and Sue. Right? They're, they're the characters. And then there was the gadget who did the puppeteering... Can't he might be called uh, Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. Corbett. Corbett. Yeah. Oh, so I hang on. So Sooty was the wee dog. Sweep was the wee orange bear. And Sue was the panda. Is that right? Sooty the dog, was he? Sweet. Oh, no, hang on. Sweep was the dog. Sweep was the dog, guy. Ah, okay, okay. But that doesn't make sense because Sweep's grey. He looks more sooty than You're right here, John. Sweep is grey in colour, the dog, and looks sooty. But the one that doesn't look like he's been anywhere near about his suit in his life is orange. Cool sooty and sweep the, is it something to do with like chimney, chimney sweep, like soot and sweep? Aye, uh, maybe cause back in the back in the day that. Mm. Uh, who, who wins in a fight? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to go for the Doug because I feel like the Doug, and at least in the picture that I'm looking at, where Sooty and uh, sorry, aye, Sooty and Sue are both pulling his ears. Like at some point, that Doug's going to snap and just demolish the pair of them. Fair dues. Right, we'll move on. Paul Mackay said, "If the Queen makes it to 100 years old, will she send a telegram herself, or will one of her kids do it, or one of you guys?" I'm not saying that. I'm How old is she? Ninety six. Uh, she's not last. She's not making hundred. She's on the way out. Okay. Well, she's cancelling loads of stuff recently. Um, I reckon whoever the pay sort of below minimum wage to do that kind of job in the in the firm will do it. I think uh, it will be Charles, and it will be passive aggressive as fuck. Yeah. I fucking still hear my. Aye. Happy birthday, Happy birthday you old boot. Uh, hope is not your last. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a job that they can give to Prince Andrew. That'll maybe... Because I try to get him back into the fold, don't they? Or at least he wants to try and get back into the fold. Can be the Royal that's, Telegram why that's why she's still alive, Because eh? right. the rest of them will not touch him. So, Mum, do they have to be 100 for me to send it to them? Is it, can I not lower that age limit if I want to send folk cards or telegrams? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. 
Uh, right, Ed Stash asks, what happens to the bits of uh, the cut out of curly whirlies or hula hoops for that matter? Polish. I reckon they go towards making other curly whirlies. They just melt them all back then. Aye. Because I'm sure, is oh. it not that Kit Kats are just made, like the filling of Kit Kats are just made of like the Kit Kats that did they make, make into production? Yeah. What? Kit Kat Junkies? I saw so your Kit Kat junkie is just made up like the filling, the biscuity filling is just made up of other Kit Kats that were like mashed in. Just a wafer. Huh. I'm not sure that's right, is it? I don't know. Google it. Afterwards. But they, they used they, to they know, they used to sell, they sell the little bits of polos for a wee while. That's what I was trying to say. Aye. They used to sell for the did. I don't think they still do. I used to love a packet of polos. I didn't hardly ever. I got oh, moved no. on to. Graduated to Smints. They're uh, mm. they're better for keeping your they're a bit more minty than polos are. Remember I, fruit I polos? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mentioned them on here a while back when we were talking about sweets you never see anymore. Aye. They were just uh, pretty much pure sugar though, weren't they? And you even look at them <laughs> and you were go polos. Aye, I know. Because my granny took up the polos when she gave up the fags. <laughs> and then blame putting the weight on, on the polos. It was my granny that got bent to the polos. She used to, like, if she was coming through to visit us from uh, Musselbridge, she got off the bus and she'd always have um, polos for us in her handbag, yeah. Mm. I, maybe, yeah. I maybe missed it there, but were you talking about the fruit polos? Aye. I, like them. Aye. I think if you still get them. No, I've never seen them for you. I've never looked either enough, but I don't think on the curly whirly thing there, John, I don't think that can be the case because curly whirly's like the, the caramel or the the chewy bit, and then they put chocolate on top of it. So if they drop that all back into melt all down into shape again, it's of chocolate and the caramel. So I think they. Aye, but I presume I presume you maybe get the the toffee or the caramel, whichever one it is. They stamp it to get rid of the bits, and then the bits are then like and then rolled put, through, and then they put chocolate on again. But then the chocolate will fall through, and that would just be a lot of waste of chocolate as well, wouldn't it? That's a fair point. Curly wordies are aren't they a uniform shape? Are they? Like if you if you put one curly whirly on top of another one, they wouldn't be identical. There isn't a curly whirly template, or is there? Ken, what we should this is the sort of stuff that we should be aiming for is getting visits to the curly whirly factory, <laughs> to, <laughs> like a long bangers documentary. <laughs> curly, we'll call it curly whirly template. Imagine that. Eh? Did you get make it to here? So, talk me through how you put the hole in the caramel. Uh, Do you melt that back then? Like, where does it go? Dummies. <laughs> Just well, imagine the pain. I put my finger in this. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a good a good insult that I saw about somebody can being able to bite into a curly whirly without t- without touching a bit of chocolate because their teeth were that bad. <laughs> Which I thought was quite uh, quite good. Anyway, right, Disco Stu, we'll move on because he didn't like that one. Uh, <laughs> Disco Stu says, "Why do birds not mate with other breeds of birds? Like, so why don't pigeons ride crows?" Or magpies or seagulls, for example, and vice versa. Or maybe they do, but I've never seen a pigeon with a magpie head, though. Would you call it a pagpie or a midgen? Oh, pag- pagpie sounds better than a midgen. Oh, does it, though? No. <laughs> oh, pagpie sounds like the Maybe it goes with what one's most dominant in the. <laughs> like during the, the ride or in the hybrid like... <laughs> <laughs> so it comes out it's got a magpie head you go you're a midgen if, it, if it's got a pigeon's head it's, it's, a, it's a pack pie pack, pack. <laughs> be a pig pie would it not <laughs> aye that would be a pig a pig pie aye midgen's um, better why, how does that not happen and you would think sort of curiosity would get a better of some of them at some point they would just have a wee because dogs only bothered what other breeds of dogs they would go away. I mean, dogs are even this. Guinea pigs, when I had the guinea pigs, they weren't even bothered about gender. They would just go yeah. have a wee, have a wee shot. Didn't matter that they looked different. It's so got something to do with. <clears throat> so, humans will mate with other humans and they'll procreate. Dogs will mate with other dogs and cats will mate with other cats and they'll procreate. But I'd imagine that the, the species within like the sort of the human dog lineage if you like is narrow enough that that's able to take place whereas birds there are multiple species of birds so they can all mate with one another there'll be genetic differences between them all like some of them will have wisdom teeth and others won't but they might be able to 
you know, there's ones that live in the same areas and that they definitely could. Like the opportunities would be there for them to do it. Are, are mm. birds racist? <laughs> birds do it. <laughs> Bees do it. Um, well, I imagine there'll be a percentage there will be. Um, see, see when they whistle on that, mm-hmm. is that their meeting? Is that a meeting call? Sometimes, is sometimes that, they'll just be like telling stories and that. I would think as well. No, I'm just, just happy this morning. I just the way they work. <laughs> That'd be the plumber ones. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering if that had anything to do with it. That's where I was going, mate. I was under the, the that was them saying, shh, 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 "Come and get me," sort of thing. But we're looking at pigeon. And, and, Correct, but they would know that it's a pigeon's noise or tone or something. But are they not guided as well by like mating rituals? So, peacock or peafowl, um, there's like you know, they kind of get their plumage out and what have you, like there'll be other things that are going on. So, maybe they actually maybe the reason that birds don't uh rattle other birds is because they don't know when they're horny. Like they don't recognise the symbol, so like a, a pigeon will have like its own sort of like mating ritual. But when the crows are like dancing about, saying "Come and get me," they didn't recognise it. They just think they're dancing about. Mm. <laughs> if you're a bird, text in eight two nine five. Tell us why you're no sleep with other birds. Uh, different types of birds. Uh, Poor Rush Punk says, "Can you really influence the outcome of a game by the colour of your underwear? And what happens if you don't wear any?" Um, you can't is the is the answer, but we all think you can. Eh? But we've all tried. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I better wear the ones again. I wore them last week when we won. It's mental because it, surely that needs everybody who's wore their stuff to wear the same stuff for the next game. It's, it can't just be your own pants that are lucky. Surely. I bumped into my mate Tony a couple of times on a Saturday morning up there but during lockdown. I think when the games were on, and you couldn't go. He went out with the dugs, bump into him, and he was like, the second, the second time I seen him, I think it was, he went, oh, for fuck's sake. So every time I bump into somebody on here on a Saturday morning, Hibs get beat. <laughs> so it's like, because <laughs> like, I had three times in a row. So it's just because we're not playing very well. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> it's not right, David. Nobody's gone, Tony, bump into anybody on the psychopath this morning. <laughs> but probably if, that, if, if managers just started blaming that kind of post-match interview, so... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Jack, Jack, the game. Jack, Jack Ross, what, what went wrong for you today? The players looked like they weren't quite at it. He says, I oh, know they've been good in training all week, but John, there, I think he wore his green pants today instead of the brown ones that he had on last week. And uh, <laughs> Collins mate bumped into him before the game. So, when and, really, and when my, you think about it, we had no chance. Put my right sock on before my left sock and all that. A bit of football players have got they daft superstitions, superstitions, haven't they? I mean, was it? Is it Paul Lindsay who still always want to go at last Aye. out the tunnel? And he wouldn't put his top on until he left the tunnel or got, I can't remember, there was a bit the tunnel he got to, he put his top on and that. And you're like, what happens if two of them want to do that? Aye. What happens then? You know, because he can play for England and he's at Man United and the boy at Liverpool does that. The two of them going, well, I'm not fucking going out. And England have just got nine players. I'd hide. The kid just isn't to go out and go, Paul, hey! Like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking raging. Um... The, the, it's the ones that, uh, the, so obviously again, we talked about religion before, right? But when both teams are religious, uh, one of them has to win. So if you've kind of gone, oh, that's great, God's given me like my, my goal today and all the rest of it, and the games where you've missed your penalty and that, you go, oh, fuck off, God. <laughs> <laughs> like Just watch the mysterious face, you say that. Don't you? Ah, that's it. Just, that's uh, just challenging. Yeah. I think as if, if there was a god, he was going to give a fuck about the football way and go, oh, fucking right. There's, there's, can the really religious countries have gone, they're all, they're all fucking praying for, got to keep everybody happy here. God does not care about competitive sports. Apart from the darts. Fucking loves the darts. Eh? <laughs> Setting up the bag at <laughs> <of> the alley, <laughs> Pally. <laughs> fucking loves the darts. Um, Mel Clement said, if we nailed immort- immortality and you're still alive in 3050, what's happening? Are Hibs European big boys? Can we teleport instead of commute? How large are family gatherings? Do pets also have immortality? How many should you have? And have you travelled the world? Did you listen to uh, Meaning of Life? I can only assume so. I answered many of those questions in there, haven't I? 3050. We didn't go that far ahead right enough, did we? No. Further, further ahead, we went to 500 years old, which isn't Aye, as far ahead as 3050. Yeah. yeah. 
because it's a thousand mm-hmm. and thirty. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> I, I was wondering, I'm sorry, I'm sure I'm going to hear you. We heard, we heard that. I we heard. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I wonder what the future for like competitive sports and that would be. Football. It's kind of like. Uh, did you ever watch Neighbours when you were younger, or you were you would have been aware of Neighbours when you were younger, but mm-hmm. you wouldn't have been aware of like a, a question that my dad asked, which was like, "How does it end? Like, is it just like uh, this was obviously when it was like massively popular, like 20, 25 million it viewers just regularly." About to end, to answer this question. It ends in a few weeks' time. But I, <clears throat> so I think what he suggested was that there was maybe like a plane plane crash, like wipes out Ramsey Street or whatever. Um, Same, but. Was it Emmerdale? I bet Emmerdale was still going. Aye, but they wiped it out. With a plane crash. And then it started again. It was like Lockerbie, wasn't it? It was then they called Aye. Emmerdale rather than Emmerdale Farm and that. Oh, I didn't realise. I had no idea. Um, what was my point? What, what would be your, about? You were talking about the end of the day, but what would be your ideal way to end a soap opera? Like that. So uh, if it was Neighbours or EastEnders or something, yeah. what I don't would be know. the best way to do like, it? They all, they all end up going down like a pretty similar format. It's all like it's meant to be daily life, but then everyone's getting killed and everyone's shagging each other, and it's it's a wee bit exaggerated modern life. But they all do it. It's all the same story. Yeah, they just take cycles, here, don't they? Huh. I don't watch many soap operas, but Neighbours Home and Away still get watched in this this year, so I catch them sometimes. Um, and Neighbours is about to end. I would like them to kill them all off in some kind of tragedy, but I don't think they're going to. I think because they want to try and sell it on again. They'll be hoping that somebody will buy it back. Right. So I don't think they're going to. I so think, they think they should move in a bad just... neighbour. Do you know, like the songs about having good neighbours, they should move in a bad neighbour and then... Uh, kills them all. <laughs> just uh, turn the theme tune into, like, death metal or something. Drins them all in, drins them all in uh, Maggie's pool. <laughs> Or, or a series of elaborate booby traps. Does that say kind of, Do you know, like Final Destination? If you, if you, sort of, sort of spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how death gets the folk who missed out and dying at the time of the plane crash. That's quite good. That uh, I didn't mind the concept of that. Actually. Aye, quite, quite a decent concept. But aye, they can maybe do that. Where it's just kind of set up and some because they could string it out over a few weeks. Like somebody could maybe was meant to stand on a rake that would ping up with a big spike in it, so it should go through their forehead, but. Aye. They've, they've maybe kind of just it's missed them by a wee bit and they've gone up. Where is it? It's filmed. It's Melbourne, isn't it? Somewhere like that. Is it Melbourne? Australia. Uh, yeah. Um, do they really need elaborate booby traps when they've got like seven out of the is it seven of the ten most deadliest or most poisonous snakes in the world in Australia? Just just send them at the zoo. Could do that as well. Uh, mm. Right, we're out of time. Anyway, on that note, uh, if you want to hear more, seek help. Um, but you can get more, go to uh, https uh, colon slash slash uh, longbangers.hubwave.net <laughs> and you can sign up. We did have a wee issue with the website there, so you have to put that wee HTTPS bit at the start for it to, uh, to work. You can sign up, it's only £3, which is like about 40 an episode, maybe even a bit less than that if you count the ones that go out free as well. Um Somebody didn't want to pay the other day. They were like, "Oh, you fucking asking me to subscribe?" And I, uh, sorry, we did. But only if you want to. It's only if you want the extra stuff. If you want all the free stuff, keep getting that for nothing. You're absolutely welcome to it. Anyway, uh, keep your questions coming in. We'll be back with short bangers extra just after this. Uh, until next time, we'll see you later.